Hey what's up guys, welcome to MB Tech Talker. My name's Matt. In this video I want to show you how I installed Microsoft Certificate Services in order to learn more about Palo Alto Network's firewall features that use digital signatures to secure communications. If you have watched my previous videos, you will know that I use Windows Server 2016 at the heart of my VMware Workstation Lab, which is leveraging Active Directory Services. Active Directory Certificate Services is a server role that allows you to build a public key infrastructure referred to as PKI, which provides public key cryptography, digital certificates, and has digital signature capabilities. It's proved to me that having this setup in my lab has allowed me to learn more about PanOS features that uses certificates, such as SSL decryption, global protect portals and gateways, and even securing the management web UI browser sessions. This isn't a complicated configuration by any means, I just thought it may be useful for you guys, something you can refer back to when I upload other videos that leverage SSL TLS certificates. So without further ado, let me show you how to install this server ROM. Okay, so I'm logged into the lab server. Um, I'm logged in as administrator. So first thing we need to do is click on manage and then add roles and features. Let's click next on this one and this is the role based feature. And then just, just click next. Make sure your server's selected next and we're gonna be installing the Active Directory Certificate Services role. So we're going to tick that and then add features and then we're going to go next and next and next and we're going to also be installing the certification authority web enrollment to be able to um, process certificates through the web browser so we're going to tick that as well click next and then we can click the restart destination server if it's required and then click yes and then we're just going to hit the install button okay so that's installed so we can close that window and you'll notice there's a yellow exclamation triangle up the top here so in order to finish the installation we just click on this link and I'm using the administrator credentials as I said before click next and then we need to select the, the, the services. So we're going to select the, the certification authority and also the web enrollment service and then click next. This is going to be an enterprise CA and it's also going to be a root CA. So we click next. We're going to create a new private key and we're just going to leave the cryptographic options as default and then we're going to click next. And I'm just going to give this a name that I like to use. And then click next it said it already exists it's because i've already installed this before so i'm just going to click yes we're just going to leave this at five years and then next and next again and then configure so that's all completed so that's the uh the roles and services installed so we can close that next thing we can do is go to uh tools and then we're going to look at iis manager and here on the left hand side if we expand this and then go to the sites and then the default website this is the web enrollment website so if we click on that you can see over here that you can browse to these to this website on both port 80 and 443 now I have, i've had some problems before when i browsed to port 80 so i always make sure one i'm logged on to the server as administrator and two that i'm going to these um, to the website on 443 and that should open up in Internet Explorer and we can just continue and there we go so from here you can request a certificate view the status of any pending certificate requests or download the root CA so that's how simple it is um, nothing really to it um, but this is going to uh, serve you well um, through your Palo Alto journey um, something you can use um, in the future. So hope that's useful. Thanks very much. 
and I'll see you in the next one. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Over the next coming weeks, I will be uploading more videos where I will be sharing more content about Palo Alto firewall features and technologies and how to configure them. If you like this video, I'm sure you know what to do by now, but just in case you don't, please hit that like button below and share with your friends and be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified every single time I post a new video. If you have any ideas of video content you want me to create, please put them in the comments below as I would love to hear your feedback on any aspect of my channel. Please keep watching and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.